First off, I need to make it clear that this video is sponsored by Omen. We're going to be taking a look at, unboxing and having a play with this, their new Omen 15, which is rocking a NVIDIA RTX 2060, and my model is also using an AMD Ryzen CPU, although you can get it with an Intel CPU as well, if you'd prefer. It's positioning itself to be the gaming laptop for you, so let's get it out of the box and I'll explain a bit more about it as we go. Now, Omen have pushed the boat out with this one. Like I said, it's using an RTX 2060. It's also rocking, at least my model, is a Ryzen 7 4800U. It's got 16 gigs of RAM, 512 gig of SSD storage, and even has a very nice, very crisp 144 hertz Full HD display. Now, you can pick this up at the link in the description, as you would expect. Um, feel free to check that out. And like I said, you can buy it with uh, an Intel CPU if you would prefer. Now, inside the box, as we're kind of expecting, you have your warranty and leaflet information, you have the power adapter, and you have the laptop itself in its many protective sleeves. Now, HP also sent me over some peripherals I'll be using in a second, but first, Let's take a look at this laptop and explain a bit more about it. Starting with the display, it's a 15.6 inch 1080p 144Hz panel squeezed into a compact frame meaning extra thin bezels and a smooth and responsive gaming experience. It's also a G-Sync panel which means a tear-free gaming experience too which honestly makes a massive difference in how a game actually feels to play. You can also make your playing experience even more responsive with Nvidia Reflex. In supported games like COD Warzone, Apex Legends, Valorant, Fortnite and a load more, you can enable it to reduce input lag. Input lag is the time between you pressing a button, say your mouse button, to fire a gun and actually seeing it on screen in game. The lower the input lag, the faster you can react to seeing enemies or hitting your headshots. Keeping all that power cool is Omen's Tempest cooling technology. You can see from the bottom that it is well ventilated, it's got five way airflow and three sides of venting and it's in an incredibly thin and light and pretty sleek and stylish chassis too. Like, it's incredibly thin, and despite that, if we take a look inside, it has plenty of heat pipes, dual fans, and plenty of ventilation, heat sink material, all that good stuff. And despite the small size, Omen hasn't skipped out on the battery. It has up to 12 and a half hours of battery life depending on the model you get, which is incredibly impressive for both a gaming laptop and one that's this thin and light. And while we're talking about it, I should mention that you can take the bottom panel off very easily to get access to both the M.2 SSDs, which you can upgrade or add in later, and the RAM, which is also user upgradable in the future if you want to, so good job there. Something that surprised me was Omen's focus on audio for the laptop. I mean, they collaborated with Bang & Olsen for the speakers, which actually give a really good, really rich sound listening experience. They also have HP's Audio Boost and Smart Amp for louder volume listening without distortion, and DTS-X if you want accurate 3D spatial audio through any headphones. They actually have covered all the bases. Right, that's enough talking about it. Let's just jump into some games and see how it performs there. Cod War Warfare is a game I've played a fair bit since it came out. Both a bit of Warzone, but honestly more multiplayer for me. So let's have a play with that. Now it does have pretty much all of the NVIDIA feature you'd expect. Highlights, reflex low latency, which we've got enabled, and direct X-ray tracing as well. So let's jump into match and uh, just have a bit of a play. So the settings that I've got it on right now are uh, sort of medium to high. It's pretty much what I would game on myself. Um, and we're getting about 100 FPS, which for me is fine. You can obviously turn them down a bit if you want to, to max out that 141st display. But for me, this is the, the right, nice balance between, you know, visual quality and FPS. Either way, the 2060 is doing a good job here, as is, in my case, a Ryzen CPU. Although, like I said, you can buy this with an Intel CPU if you'd prefer as well. And I've got to say, it feels remarkably fast. Um, obviously, uh, low latency is enabled, so we're, uh, we're having fun with that one. And I'm using the HP uh, wireless mouse as well, which is actually really nice. It's pretty good. Come on. Yes. There we go. Right. Well, that felt pretty good. Um, I think it might be good to swap over to the newer COD, um, Black Ops Cold War, so let's have a play with that one and see how that does too. 
Right, so this is uh, Black Ops Cold War. This is multiplayer. And uh, wow, we're getting like over 100 FPS. It's like 110, 120. We're on a kind of medium high settings again, pretty much how I would set it. Uh, and it's really smooth. I'm liking it. Um, I can never get the gunplay in this. Like, it's just slightly different to uh, to Modern Warfare. And so it's, uh, it's taken some getting used to for me. One behind me. And there's no not one behind me. Oh. Oh no. Thank you. Oh god, there's more. No, I keep pressing reload. I really shouldn't. Um, so I'm actually recording the screen as well using um, NVIDIA's uh, overlay and I'm still getting 107, 105 FPS. So that's great. Uh, my aim, however, is not. <laughs> Gotta say, game experience feels great. It's really smooth, getting plenty of FPS. I mean, my play experience is terrible because, you know, I can't aim, but <laughs> um, the actual play experience on the laptop, that's pretty good. Oh, he got him. Sweet. Come on. Hey. Sweet. Well, that felt good. I also play some Rainbow Six Siege, so let's give that one a go and see how that one does. Right, so we're in Siege, and despite still recording the, the gameplay footage here, um, we're getting 120, 130 FPS, which is great. It's pretty much what we're looking for. Obviously, 144 uh, is for the, the display, but G-Sync's on, so it's a nice, smooth experience. And yeah, it's just like decent. It's, it's performing well, and even though my aim isn't quite there. Um, I'm going to use all of the uh, the excuses I can muster. The uh, you know my ADS sensitivity is a bit off. Um, you know I, I don't have headphones on so that I can you know talk to you guys. Um, yeah, the, all of the excuses are clearly relevant here. Um, I'm clearly much better than this would suggest. <laughs> totally. Of course, when you play as Ash, you, it's just kind of like required by law that you have to rush. So um, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, maybe... Oh, kitchen? There we go. Oh, there's one guy left. He'll be chasing me. Right. Seven bullets. Yes! There we go. Cool. Awesome. 140 FPS too. Sweet. And the last thing to mention is the Omen Command Sensor. This is the app, the sort of one-stop shop for everything that you need to do to, to customize the laptop. You can see system vitals, network booster, lighting, including for the keyboard. Uh, you can also control the performance, set the fan speeds, all that sort of stuff is all here for you to play with. So yeah, it's a pretty comprehensive machine. It's got plenty of power, all in a stylish, tiny chassis. Uh, it's kept cool, upgradable, has great battery life, is easy to use, including with a new larger trackpad, plenty of I.O., and it's just a great experience to use. So what's not to love? Well, if you're interested in picking one up yourself or just checking out more information, take a look at the top link in the description down below. But otherwise, thank you to Omen for sponsoring this video, and thank you to you guys for sticking around and watching this far. Sponsor videos like this one help make this a, a viable job for me, so thank you very much to, to both HP, Omen, and to you guys as well. I'll leave the usual spiel out, of course there are videos over there if you want to check that out, and if you want to see more videos on this laptop then feel free to hit that subscribe button as well, and there's obviously a load of other links in the description you can check out, so feel free. Otherwise, thank you for watching, if you have any questions do leave those in the comments down below, and otherwise we'll see you all in the next video.